We're going to begin with Fox 12's Kendra Kent. She's live at PDX tonight. Kendra, how are travelers reacting to all of this? Well, Wayne, I would say after talking with a number of people, uh, people are surprised. They're shocked. They were finding out about this here at PDX, so they were kind of glued to their phones, reading, making sure that they had accurate information. A lot of travelers were unconcerned when they learned that this was, you know, mostly affecting European travel because PDX is mostly a domestic airport. But we did speak with a couple of travelers from Europe. They were definitely more concerned. They were asking us questions, and they wanted to make sure that they'd be able to get back home safely and quickly. Now, we do want to share some really important information. Um, we know that President Trump says travel from Europe to here in the U.S. will be suspended for the next 30 days. However, the United Kingdom is an exception, as are many other European countries. And this is very important. The Department of Homeland Security says that Americans and other permanent residents will still be able to fly home to the U.S. from Europe. So if you're a healthy American or a healthy permanent resident, you should be unaffected by this. The travel suspension takes place Friday at midnight. And again, it is just for the next 30 days. President Trump said tonight that uh, exemptions for Americans and other residents will require screenings before they are allowed back into the country. It is also important to note that the Department of Homeland Security says not all European countries are restricted. It is 26 specific countries in what's known as the Schengen region. That includes countries like Italy, Germany, France, Greece, and Sweden. Today we spoke with a Lake Oswego woman who is vacationing in Italy. Elaine Murphy went to Italy with her husband and adult children to celebrate her birthday. Murphy was planning on traveling back home here to the U.S. next Monday, but over fears of potential travel restrictions, she and her husband recently moved that flight to Friday morning. Now they're really hoping the flight will not end up getting canceled and they won't get stuck in Italy. If I'm going to be stuck in Rome for another month, am I going to have to pay rent for that amount of time? Am I going to have to go out to eat all the time. I understand that a number of the restaurants are being ordered to be you know, closed down. This could really be, I don't know, quite scary at this point. And this evening we were here at PDX following Trump's announcement. We wanted to talk with people flying. Spoke to what, with one man who travels frequently for business. He also has a vacation to Italy coming up this summer. We asked him what he thinks about the travel restrictions. I'm not in agreement with it, definitely not in agreement with it. I, I understand that a lot of people are sort of, you know, taking care of themselves and staying at home and everything, but you also got to live your life. I'm not quite, you know, convinced that that's a good thing to do. And earlier this year, you will remember that travel restrictions were put in place for China and Iran. Of course, we will keep you updated on the very latest developments. Reporting live tonight in PDX, Kendra Kent, Fox 12 Oregon.